是四度坚果。I'm in Hainan, beautiful Hainan, the tropical island province here in the south of China, and this is the Li ethnic village of Mount Hatun. Mount Hatun is located here in the city of Wuzhishan, and you can see what kind of place Wuzhishan is just by looking at this incredible scenery behind me. Look at it, breathtaking. So much forest, so many beautiful peaks. As we drive along the roads, the winding roads up and down the mountains to get here, we pass some beautiful sights. Now, Wuzhishan has actually previously been recognised as one of China's natural oxygen bars, and as you would expect with a title like this, the atmosphere here and the environment are incredible. So as you can tell, Maona village is surrounded by mountains and valleys. Now in the past, because of poor transport links and a lack of viable arable land, there wasn't that much development here. But now this village has turned into quite a popular tourist spot. School kids here on a trip. <laughs> Now, due to a number of reasons, including investment and support for the tea industry, better irrigation in the village and surrounding areas, uh, better infrastructure, better roads, getting here through the mountainous Wuzhishan, very easy because the roads are so good. All of this together has led to Maunatuan becoming a tourism destination. There are only 33 households in this village, total about 128 people. So it's a very small village, but it's become a very popular beauty spot. Dotted all over the village is this symbol. This is Dali Shen. Now, if you search for that in the dictionary, you'll get a translation like Hercules or Heracles from Greek and Roman mythology. Now, Dali Shen literally translates as big, powerful God. And this is the symbol of the Li ethnic group. And it's, it's all over the village. It's even on the, the lights as well. So this is one of the most famous examples of Li ethnic minority culture. Uh, this is Li Jin or Li Brocade, a type of exquisite embroidery it's really beautiful. It looks a little bit like pixel artwork, almost very modern, but I'm pretty sure it's got about 3,000 years worth of history. Uh, th someone doing it right here, I'm going to go ask them about it. So you uh, Zhuhua Bye-bye, 
Uh, also, what's quite apparent as you walk around the village is that a number of new, fairly large buildings have been built. They've actually replaced the previous residences of the villagers. I heard that villagers in the past would live under thatched roofs. Now I'm sure that was very picturesque and pretty to look at, but I can't imagine what it must be like living under a thatched roof in Hainan when it rains, because it rains fairly often. It's tropical weather, right? So you get some pretty big storms. Oh, I'm gonna try and get down without having stuff smack in my face. Sorry. And this is one of the old houses that people used to live in. The wall looks like it's made from hay and mud, thatch roof. Like I said before, they are picturesque. They do look picturesque, but I cannot imagine live, living in one of these. I just can't imagine it. But they remain here as a symbol of the village's past. Look at this. Never expected to find turkeys here in Mount Atwa. I do love turkey. Eating it, I love eating it. So all those changes that I mentioned have allowed the village to open up to tourism. And tourists come here mainly for two reasons. Number one, this village is beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's set in such stunning scenery here in Town. Unfortunately, the peak of Town is almost always obscured by cloud <laughs> and mist, but that's okay. It's still incredibly beautiful around here. And number two, people come here to experience Li Zhu Wen Hua, or League Ethnic Minority Culture. Now I've heard some music in the distance so I'm assuming it's got something to do with Lee ethnic minority culture, so let's go check it out. <laughs> so this is one of the most famous dances of the Lee ethnic minority. Dancing with the bamboo poles. It looks really difficult. Presumably everyone around here is going to have a try in a bit. I don't think I will. Oh no! Oh, she almost fell. Oh no! The shoe came off! The sho shoe's off! Woo! Got it this time. So one of the things that I have to do whilst I'm here is try some of the Li Zhu here or the local products of the Li ethnic group. I've heard that Normi Jiao or glutinous rice wine of the Li ethnic group is particularly delicious. So let's go buy some or try buy some. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Tao So it's time to try Normi Jiao. We've got a red one and the yellow one. This one uh, has turmeric in Huangjiang, and this one is made from zimi, so that's purple rice, I imagine. Uh, right, so let's try the purple one first, or the red one. Ooh, smells a little bit strong. 
I'm not going to be drinking too much, but cheers. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't expect it to be that strong. <coughs> Ooh, wow. Okay. It's sweet. Tastes a little bit like a soft drink, but with an alcoholic kick. Okay, so that's good. That's nice. Right, let's try the one with turmeric and see ooh, see if it's any different. Ooh, smells different. Yeah, so there's definitely like a spicy kick to this. Yeah, I definitely can taste something different. I mean, it must be the turmeric. That's nice. It doesn't taste as strong as the, as the red one, so I think I can have a little bit more. Uh, but I'm not going to get drunk. I'm not going to get drunk. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I've had a lovely day Ooh. here in Mount Atua. I've experienced some of the Lee ethnic culture. I've had a go at bamboo dancing. I wasn't very good at it. And now I'm getting drunk. I'm not getting drunk. I'm just having a nice time. Mm. Cheers.